Joe and Joanne are on the chopping block. But who will win the Big Brother NHLathon Golden Power Veto Competition? Find out now on Big Brother Cheesecake 2. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 2. It's day 48 inside the Big Brother Cheesecake house, and this week Rob is the head of household. He nominated Joe and Joanne for eviction, which was a bit of a surprise nomination for many, and so that means that the Big Brother NHL Thumb Power Veto competition is critical. Who will win it? We'll find out shortly. But first... I tried my absolute best in Halifax to seduce Danny Love to get a call back. I stood outside in line for four hours in the cold and didn't work. Um, so next week in Montreal, I'm turning the gears up. If Danny Love asked me what I'd like to do in my spare time, instead of saying like road trips and shit like that, I'm going to say, in my spare time, I like to jerk off to your Instagram pics. Because you know what? May as well shock, shock him. So yeah. But I'm... It's not that I'm bitter because I've auditioned seven years in a row, so I'm used to failing. But when I invest the time and money to go to Halifax, it just sucks when you get nothing out of it. But anyway, let's get to the Power of Veto results. So I flew back from Halifax thinking it was a tie. I come home, I recalculate the scores and add them up again, and it turns out I missed an overtime loss point. Which means, I thought it was a tie, but there actually is a winner by one point. And I'm glad that there is a winner, because I didn't say what the tie-breaking rule would be. And normally it would be whoever answers first is the winner, but that would be fair because you don't know you have to answer first. So I was going to have a tie-breaking question, uh, but it's a moot point now. So we do have a winner. So here we go. In sixth place, with 19 points, Joanne. In 5th place, with 22 points, Rob. In 4th place, with 24 points, Dan. In 3rd place, with 25 points, Joe. Which means it's down to Ashley and Rhonda. One of you scored 28 out of 50, the other scored 29 out of 30. And the winner of the Golden Power Veto with 29 points is... Rhonda! Congratulations, Rhonda. You have won your second Golden Power of Veto in a row. And Rhonda did say she was guessing. At the end of the day, predicting hockey scores, unless you really, really know hockey, is tough. But Rhonda, you guessed your way to a second Golden Power of Veto in a row. I apologize for doing this quickly because we are a bit behind now. But Rhonda, you have until 11 p.m. tonight, Sunday, 11 p.m., to privately message me whether you choose to use your Golden Power Veto to save Joe or Joanne, or whether you choose not to use a Golden Power Veto. Joe and Joanne, this is your last chance to either publicly or privately message Rhonda asking for her to use a Golden Power Veto on you. Also, Rob, I need the name of a replacement nominee and why. Privately, a replacement nominee and why in the event Rhonda does choose to use a Golden Power Veto. Okay. Tomorrow is the Golden Power Veto Ceremony. Tuesday, the final two nominees plead their case, and Wednesday is the next live eviction and head of household competition where the first house guest will be sent to jury as they lose their shot at the $250 Cheesecake Factory gift card, are expelled from Hogwarts, and evicted from the Big Brother Cheesecake 2 house. And a week from today, I'm in Montreal with Chanel as I try and continue to seduce Danny Love and just say outrageous things to him because I'm picking up him. Alright, take care. I'm Andrew Shevsik, and we leave you as we eavesdrop on the house guests. Good night.